Hey guys, welcome. This is a bonus reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, I'm going to try each month to do a bonus reading for the sign that either has the most views or is the most improved. And last month, you came in with over 3,000 views um, on the reading, but then the last reading barely cracked 800 views. So I don't know what's going on, Aries. Um, but for those of you who are loyal followers and, um, who go to the trouble to watch the readings and communicate with me through the comments, uh, I really appreciate you. So this one's for you. Okay. I'm going to pull from fortune Oracle lovers, lovely card 18. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read this one to you out of the guidebook because it just came through the other day in a private reading as well. I do offer private readings. Link is in the description box. And the message was really powerful. So I want to um, I want to give that to you. It says this card represents major life choices as the lover's card is always about choice, right? Decisions surrounding love relationships are of utmost importance and there will be two paths to take now or in the near future. One will be very positive and the other will see life take a negative turn. Be true to yourself and your feelings. It is crucial you make the right choice. New adventures are waiting to begin and a better way of living will open up for you sooner than you think. Look your best at all times to reap the opportunities that are just around the corner. I know, that's cute. Now for the relationships portion, because it's kind of broken down into topics, it says the lover's card can represent a strong sexual connection. Passionate encounters are red hot. Temptations and affairs are likely where there is a crack in a relationship, which may result in a love triangle that causes much in inner conflict and heartache. Many will question current relationships that are not as perfect as they would like, causing much uncertainty about which path to take. Some may be questioning whether there is a future in a relationship or feeling that there is someone else to meet. Others will make a love commitment. Perfect harmony is obtainable for most. So what I, that little exercise is about is that if you're being shown two paths, um, go back to the connection and, you know, two of pentacles your way through. Reassess realities on the ground. What are we really dealing with here? Are there cracks in the foundation that we need to shore up? That would be the three of pentacles. Are we cooperating? Are we building a solid foundation upon which to build a long-term connection? Or is it just not working? And is it time for me to like kind of zhuzh it up and, and be open to meeting someone new? So that message seems interesting to me. And so I wanted to read it so I didn't miss a word, okay? But it's essentially the lover's card and it's always a card of choice. So let me pull this spread for you. Um, yeah. Doing the spread for Aries bonus reading. Welcome cross watchers, whoever you are. Ah, so we're talking about this, you know, the keeper of your heart, the one you love, uh, maybe someone who struggles to express their emotions. Um, wow, let's see what's on their mind. You, you are on their mind. Present energy, their challenge, opportunities. Oh, lovely, king and queen of cups. And we have the king and queen of cups. I love that. We have the king and queen of swords. I love that. We have the king of pentacles. And we have the empress. So we have a lot of powerful energy here. Um, and the other card is temperance, which is sort of talking about, um, right, going with the flow. So what I've done here is I'm looking at your person on this side. 
um, separate from your energy and we're going through the, your present experience of the connection, any blocks or challenges and what, you know, what opportunities will be available. Your person definitely has you on the mind um, and probably in their heart, though they may be struggling to express it. King of Swords, um, honest and truthful with honor and integrity, but not always real chatty about things. This is somebody who can kind of come off as a little bit distant. And the King of um, Cups is also someone who, not that they don't feel things very deeply, but that they struggle to communicate it, often because the feelings are so deep, right? So the opportunity for this person is to um, sort of wait themselves out, right? If the, if the blocker challenge has to do with their next strategic move or communicating the truth of how they feel about you and they're struggling with that, then temperance is telling them, you know, stay in flow and balance and trust that in time all the energies do come into flow and balance. For you, showing up with a wide open heart here, I love that. Your blocker challenge has to do with the King of Pentacles, meaning this person showing up for you in 3D. That was a big message in the June 2024 monthly energy update reading that I did. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. There's a big powerful theme that kind of comes full circle with regard to this King of Pentacles, which is an archetype, a masculine archetype of a life partner here in 3D. And then for you, the opportunity going forward is, you know, um, it's kind of going to, you're going to need to check your emotions at the door and approach things a little bit more practically, right? Like stay uh, level-headed, come from a sincere effort to understand and to be understood. She's a truth seeker and a truth teller, and there's no emotionality needed. It's sort of like get on a fact-finding mission is the message um that you're receiving here but i love all the court cards that are kind of coming into pairs here so let's go ahead and check it out uh-huh right can we persevere and overcome the obstacles here this is so beautiful second chances reunion past life soulmate energy coming through strong to me i think that came through not in your last reading, but the reading before. And that's the one you all really responded to was like a reunion for past life soulmates and the happily ever after of it all. So I feel like I'm getting back to that because the last reading, it was like, if this person even told you that they loved you, would you even believe them? And that, it was like, there's still something here underlying that where there's a question of trust and intentions is what that reading was really about. So if you missed it, go back and watch that one too, because it actually was pretty good. So I do feel with the King of Cups, the Strength card, the Judgment card, the Ten of Cups, what we're looking at here, the, the overall energy of the reading is about overcoming those energies where we're not sure how somebody feels and sort of reuniting, reconnecting, reconciling, um, getting a second chance because there is so much love available to the two of you in this situation. All right. So you are on their mind, Empress. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. So something, something happened here once upon a time, or this person has been hurt before. Or, you know, and I'm, it's general, so I've got to give you the lay of the land here and all the possibilities to choose from. It feels like this person is really being very conscious with their intentions as they move forward, as they approach you, or as they begin to contemplate approaching you. They don't want to make any missteps. We have a Ten of Swords, <coughs> which is in their unconscious awareness. That represents painful endings, and it could be something that this person is very concerned about and or has gone through before, either with you or in another connection. So they're being very um, methodical and deliberate and intentional as they move towards you. I know. So let's look at the King of Swords in the Blocker Challenge. What's the strategy? What's the plan? What do I say, right? How do I approach this? There are a million different options. I don't want to get cut down. I don't want to be defeated in this situation. 
the king of swords is the ultimate strategist of the tarot like the king calls on like the king the emperor calls on the king of swords uh to strategize the battle okay the, give me the battle plan and here and so the king of swords doesn't talk a lot right doesn't give away the secrets <laughs> very honorable very honorable full of integrity you find these people in the military in law enforcement in the legal professions and in, in the judicial realm right these are people who operate and, and 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 pledge themselves to a cause greater than themselves so uh, they are also sworn to secrecy in a lot of situations i'm just giving you a little background on the king of swords because i think it's really interesting but what's happening here is the blocker challenges this person has a lot of options as they're trying to strategize their way toward you and toward this connection and the five of swords underneath is sort of a, a reminder like yeah you could lose it all kiddo you can you could go down and defeat so this is somebody who is concerned with coming through this situation or picking whatever option that they select and how to approach you that it has to be the right one lest they be cut down in battle do you see that i know you're not in battle with the person but this is somebody who looks at the at even um, romantic situations or love connections as um win or lose so temperance is their friend Yes, the path to happiness for this person. And now we have the king and queen of pentacles. Oh, I'm so happy for you guys. This is lovely. Um, yeah, it, it's, the opportunity for this person is to, um, to stay in the energy of joy, of bliss, of success right to stay in the energy of happiness to keep one foot on the ground and one foot in their feelings so that they don't get unmoored um temperance is about self-control and restraint there you are the feminine archetype of a life partner to the masculine archetype and look what comes up four of cups this could represent a potential missed opportunity so i have a feeling that temperance is like you know, if you're overwhelmed by your options, um, I'm talking about your person, if they are overwhelmed by their options and how to proceed and they have concerns about, you know, taking, losing the battle, <laughs> I know I keep going back to that, but it feels like this person on an internal level, somehow in their unconscious awareness, does look at things very you know, drastically. Um, there, it's high or low, it's on or off, it's, you know, win or lose. And all the cards from the bottom of the deck reflect that. And yet with that four of cups, I don't think it's about as much about rejection as it is about missing an opportunity by jumping the gun or misreading the situation. So with temperance, it, it, their opportunity is to kind of hang there and, and be patient and allow it all to kind of sort itself out. Um, because happiness is available to them in this situation. Victory and success are other energies of the sun card. So now let's see your present energy is the queen of cups. And this is especially true if you've had a falling out with this person. So that won't be the case for all of you. But for those of you who are like, yep, it got bad, it got ugly, um, then, then that makes a lot of sense, right? That this person's going to be very strategic about they, how they approach you because they don't want to go back through that. It's, it's kind of rolling on a loop in their unconscious awareness that they have to um, get it right this time. The King of Swords wants to do the right thing, the honorable thing. Now here you come, Queen of Cups with the High Priestess, Justice, and the Page of Wands. I do feel um, you're open to some communication that, you know, you guys may just be out of communication right now in some form of separation, but the focus for you is about balance and harmony being restored. Something's been out of balance. And so while you're open to communication and you're optimistic, 
Um, you are sort of relying on your spidey senses for whether or not the result of that communication is going to yield some um, balancing of the scales, right? A return to fairness. King of Pentacles. This is the blocker challenge for you. You guys are pretty mirrored. Temperance, Four of Swords, the Moon. So if you um, if you did have a falling out in this connection, then I feel like this reading is spot on for you. For those of you who have not, there could be just some lingering need for some healing of past insults to this person's integrity, meaning other relationships. Um, I have a feeling that your blocker challenge is being patient um, as you wait for this person to show up, to have your back, to be reliable. Um, you have some fears and maybe apprehensions around that. And so I've, I'm getting the impression that for you, temperance is about pulling back on the reins a bit and not saying the first thing that comes to your mind, uh, especially if you're coming from a wounded space or place um, where you need to hear a certain something. I, I'm feeling like I'm seeing a, 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 rec a reunion and a reconciliation um, from uh, those of you who have had a, a falling out or a parting of the ways and that was very painful. And so therefore, right, um, insecurities are at full tilt. Concerns about getting hurt again are, you know, over the top right now. So the temperance message for each of you is about um, how, how to stay in a centered space while everything unfolds. Because it's going to be highs, there are going to be lows. It's going to be highs, it's going to be lows. And where can you find that center line that says, all right, I'm not going to react to that low. I'm not going to over um, align with the high. I'm going to stay somewhere in the middle. And I feel like that's what the advice is for each of you in different ways. Let's see, the Queen of Swords is your opportunity, right? Stay level-headed. Come with no hidden agenda. Um, the opportunity for you is the best way to fix things and work through it is to mount and, and you're manifesting the reconciliation here. Six of wands is a card of reconciliation, but it's also a card of meeting in the middle. It's a card of um, compromise and negotiation. And you cannot do that from over emotionality or a short fuse, right? You kind of have to be really super balanced. The queen of swords is associated with the sign of Libra. So it is about balance, which I know that you want because we have justice here. So I do feel the opportunity is to, you know, manifest that reconciliation from um, really getting centered on, can we fix this? Are we willing to work on it? Because she, you're coming in to seek that answer from this person. Are you going to give it your all? Are you, because I'm all in if you're all in. If you think we can repair What's gone before? Let's do this. Can we fix this? Can we mend it? Can we, you know, come through it victorious? Just saying. I feel like I'm talking to, to those of you who have been with this person before and there's been a falling out or a painful ending and here comes your second chance at forgiveness and redemption. Um, and the happily ever after that you probably saw before. And remember, you've got the lover's card here and there's a choice to be made and there are two paths. And one is great and will help you um, sort of move forward instead of living in a, in a realm of um, pain and unhappiness. And the other could lead to your ruin. So you want to be really careful. Okay, so that is what I have for you for this part of our journey together. I'm going to give you the astrology. Before I do that, there are links to the extended and we're going to look at our King of Cups person here. Okay, we're going to just zero in on them. We're going to see, um, you know, how they're seeing this situation right now, um, how they see you think about you or feel about you. What are their intentions toward the connection? We see what's, you know, causing a block. 
we see what's on their mind, but what are their real intentions? And so that's what we're going to look at in the extended and the links are below. But if this reading has been eye opening or it has resonated for you on some level, been helpful, been insightful, please subscribe below if you haven't already. Um, and don't forget to click the little notification bell, ding, uh, so that you can see new readings when they come up in your feed. That's how we do this thing. All right, King of Cups is associated with the sign of Scorpio. The Strength card is Leo. We have Pluto here in the Judgment card, which is uh, the ruler of Scorpio. Empress is Venus. She comes out twice in this reading, um, which is Libra and uh, Taurus. Virgo in the Knight of Pentacles. The King of Swords is here. That's Aquarian energy. The Temperance card comes out twice. That is Sagittarius. The Sun is a Sun, rules the sign of Leo. Queen of Pentacles is Capricornian energy, Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy. The High Priestess is the Moon. We have Justice is Libra. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. King of Pentacles is Taurus, um, said Temperance. This Moon is Pisces. Queen of Swords is Libra. Um, and we have Mercury here in the Magician, which rules Virgo and Gemini. So that's what I have for you, your bonus reading, Aries. I hope it gave you some food for thought. I'm headed to the extended now. I'll see you there in a second. Thanks for joining me.